my fellow comic book collectors, it's Alan, the Comic Collector Geek, and normally on Saturdays, <laughs> which is today, I do um, interviews with other channels um, and other collectors and um, sometimes creators. This week, I don't have an interview. <laughs> I was trying to find people to interview, but couldn't find anyone. So I got something better. Maybe better. Maybe. Be hopefully you'll like it. Uh, if you want to be interviewed, though, if, you're, if you have a great collection, you want to show it to the world, feel free to reach out to me on Instagram and maybe... In the future, we can do an interview. So I just want to put that out there. <laughs> but let's get into today's video, which is actually going to be a, a series of videos where I'm going to look at uh, different characters that uh, appeared in the different ages. So um, starting from Golden Age all the way up to the modern. And ones that are characters that are, for the most part, household names. Uh, there's a lot of characters that were created in each age <laughs> that um, most people wouldn't actually know. Like, it, it's sort of like, um, uh, you know, if, if you can ask your wife or uh, your significant other or your kids, do you know this character? <laughs> and they say, uh, no idea. Then you know that it's not a good character. Uh, but if you can say the, the name and they go, oh, yes, of course, you know, then that's a good character that has stood the test of time and the golden age introduced many many awesome characters and there are a few that didn't make this list because i'm only going to be showing five that probably deserve uh honorable mention and i just want to quickly give a quick shout out to another channel another contributor um creator on a uh, youtube creator uh big b mcfly the comic guy it was really his idea for me to do this um it's something i probably should have done a long time ago and it was really his idea and we sort of hashed it out and we thought about the characters that made this list. So let's get into it. Um, now, I tried to find books of the era <laughs> that represent each of these characters, but one of the characters, I don't have a Golden Age representative of their uh, comics, which is kind of sad, but it is what it is. Uh, the first character is the only Marvel character to make the list uh, from the Golden Age. Now, Marvel, to be frank, uh, had three major characters uh, for the Golden Age. They had uh, the Human Torch, they had the Submariner, and they had this character. And this character, I believe, of the three, is the most well-known. And this is Captain America. Now, Captain America... This is a Silver Age copy. <laughs> I don't have a Golden Age copy of Captain America. They're pretty pricey, and I just don't have any in my collection. Um, Captain America is, is, a, is a character that most people would know or recognize. And um, Captain America made his first appearance in Captain America number one. Now, it's a different series than this one, but uh, <laughs> they actually brought back the, the, the numbering as if it had continued on. Um, but this is the Silver Age series of Captain America. And, um, yeah, um, uh, you know, it's, uh, Jack Kirby, I believe, was the, the one that created, uh, the very first cover with Captain America, and he, um, it was a great cover because you got, uh, Captain America punching Hitler, which is just an amazing cover. Um, just a very iconic book and character from the Golden Age. One that has truly stood the test of time. Um, sadly, <laughs> um, the Human Torch and Submariner really haven't fared as well. Um, you know, people might recognize them, um, but they're really, you know, they're not as well known as Captain America. Now, the next big character that is questionable actually I could have maybe picked another there's this one was a bit debatable um, and but this character was massive in the golden age and even outsold um, many other superheroes of that era um, and it's Captain Marvel now nowadays people would know him as Shazam and uh, Fortunately, there's been a few movies now with Shazam in it that uh, he's sort of known, not maybe as well as 
maybe even Captain America even. But he is well known. He was bigger in the, the Golden Age than Captain America was. Uh, just a major character for uh, the Golden Age. Um, he was most commonly created by, uh, or most commonly drawn by C.C. Um, Beck. And uh, he made his first appearance in Wiz Comics number one, kind of. <laughs> number. It's like, it's a weird numbering system where it's actually Wiz Comics number one, with the first issue of Wiz, but then they actually titled it number two because there was another title that they had changed before, but it didn't have Captain Marvel in it. I know. Confusing, but uh, Wiz Comics is where uh, Captain Marvel made his first appearance. And the cover um, that was used was very similar to that of Superman's first cover. <laughs> and um, there was actually a lawsuit that existed because of the similarities between uh, the Captain Marvel character and Superman. And eventually, actually, uh, Fawcett, which produced uh, Captain Marvel, lost <laughs> and actually had to, uh, basically, they went out of, they folded uh, their business uh, as a result of losing the lawsuit. But uh, during the Golden Age, uh, uh, Sh Shazam, as we know him now, or Captain Marvel, was a massive character, very, very popular, massive print runs. They would have typically anywhere from a million to a million five uh printings of each of the books just a massive character very popular um so this is actually captain marvel's second appearance in comics uh and um this is wiz comics number three and they actually as i said they denote it kind of interesting way so you see wiz comics number three bracket number two <laughs> this is actually the second wiz comics uh, just an interesting book uh, and interesting character. Uh, you know, the cool thing about Shazam, and what I really think that makes him different than Superman, is the fact that, you know, he's Billy Batson as his normal persona, and he has to say the word Shazam to become Captain Marvel. And that kind of, to me, I thought that was always a great thing, because as a, as a kid... You know, the idea of becoming a superhero is such a, you know, uh, a, you know, creative thing and interesting thing to kids, especially <laughs> um, that, oh, if I could just say the magic word, then I could become a superhero. I could, you know, there's such appeal there. Uh, whereas Superman, you know, he he was of another planet. He's like a little bit more distant. You know, it's more like somebody you can aspire to, you know, becoming, but but not actually even dream of becoming so different different kind of character um that's why he's number four on my list but he is a definitely a major character and definitely one that uh people um know for the for the golden age i'm gonna at the end of this like once i tell my top five i want to actually mention a few honorable mentions that didn't make the list so i kind of want to save those for the end <laughs> which is weird i know usually you do the honorable mentions first but I'm going to do them last. The next character is, and the rest are actually all DC characters. And DC really did dominate for the superheroes uh, uh, and the creation of superheroes in the Golden Age. Um, and really, it was their characters that led to the Golden Age. Now, one of their characters that was designed um, to appeal to girls and not just appeal to girls, but appeal to everybody, actually had mass appeal, was Wonder Woman. And this is Wonder Woman number one. It's not her first appearance. Her first appearance is actually in All-Star Comics number one. Uh, number eight. <laughs> number eight. All-Star Comics number eight. This is Wonder Woman nine. This is her first titled uh, comic. Um, and it also shows her on the cover, which is nice. I wanted to show the character. All-Star 8 doesn't show her on the cover. Um, but Wonder Woman was so popular that actually she had multiple titles. She had Wonder Woman and Sensation Comics. And she was a regular within All-Star. And she was a regular in Comic Calvacade. So very popular character in the Golden Age. And had massive appeal uh, to both boys and girls. Um, just a very cool uh, character. And, you know, she's been popular enough that she's had TV series and movies created about her even into the modern era. 
and it's a character that everyone would recognize. Uh, you say Wonder Woman, yeah, people would recognize Wonder Woman. So um, just a very successful character from the Golden Age, uh, one that was created by uh, William Marston. Uh, uh, does it say, or Charles, uh, story by Charles uh, Moulton. And that was his pen name. Um, I, I might be messing up his first name. But it's Marston, um, the guy that created it, created her, uh, and he used a pseudo name for um, when he actually did the comics. Uh, the reason for that was he was actually a university professor, and he was also the inventor of the lie detector, <laughs> and that's why her lasso of truth uh, acts like a lie detector. It, you know, you get if you get uh, lassoed by her, you have to tell the truth. And these were some of the cool things about Wonder Woman. Just an amazing character. Uh, and really the the most uh, well-known female superhero of all time. So Wonder Woman. That's number three on my list. Number two on my list is one that competes with number one. These are the two biggest characters that you can think of in comics in general. Um, and I, I'm putting this as number two on the list, uh, is Batman. And honorable mention to, uh, Robin as well. Robin is a major character from the Golden Age and actually set up, uh, a lot of, um, the idea of the sidekick. Um, but we're talking about Batman. Bob, Bob Kane, uh, creation and, um, uh, Bob, Fing uh, uh, Bill Finger. Is it Bill Finger? Yeah, Bill Finger, I believe. Bill Finger and um, Bob Kane uh, were the ones that created Batman. And he is an iconic character that everybody knows. <laughs> everybody knows Batman. Uh, he is one of those characters that um, was interesting because he was not a superhero. And uh, he is a super... We know him as a superhero, but he doesn't have superpowers. He, he uses his utility belt. He uses his own uh, skills as a fighter and his, you know, his intellect to be uh, a superhero. Um, and um, he was just a very major character for the Golden Age. Uh, he um, made his first appearance in Detective Comics number 27. Um, this is Detective Comics 38, <laughs> so it's a later appearance, but not that much later. Um, and, um, yeah, it's just a classic, classic character and classic, classic book. Um, so, <laughs> next on my list, number one. And you, you probably already know what number one would be, but, uh, I, app, I, I fortunately do have a Golden Age, uh, appearance of this character and we got Superman and really Superman is two characters in one because he's Superman and Clark Kent he's kind of a little bit of both uh you know it's the he's Superman when he's being himself and he's Clark Kent when he's hiding who he really is which was I, I always thought that was cool uh Superman made his first appearance in action comics he was uh the brainchild of uh, Joe Schuster and, um, and um, oh, what's his name? <laughs> Why am I forgetting? Um, oh, <laughs> Why am I? Uh, okay, Joe Schuster. Uh, the, he's Canadian, actually. Uh, but yeah, Superman is one of those major characters uh, for the Golden Age. He is the character that launched the Golden Age. Action 1 is usually what people denote as being the beginning of the golden age because he really changed how comics were created and the intent behind them up till uh superman uh really comics were just um reprints of uh, the news strips and superman was actually a character that was really created uh for comics um and really launched the idea of the superhero as being um a major um, a major player in, um, you know, uh, what kids would read. 
Uh, so yeah, Superman is a massive one. Um, and the funny thing is, uh, I believe Action Comics 1 had like almost a million printing. It was, it was a massively uh, printed book. Sadly, not many survived. Um, through the burnings, the paper drives, and all these kind of things, um, it uh, didn't survive. Um, wow, Wayne. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to go through names until I get it. Okay, um, but uh, yeah, um, the interesting thing was uh, it was created back in 1938, and that represents the beginning of the Golden Age. So Superman number one uh, was... Uh, you know, the first real superhero. And, you know, believe it or not, there's actually earlier superheroes. Uh, the Phantom is actually the first superhero. Uh, but he actually appeared in the Golden, uh, the Platinum Age. Now, there was a bunch of characters that probably deserved to be mentioned as um, honorable mentions. And those would be, like, a lot of DC characters. Pretty much the Justice League, um were characters that people would still recognize to, to, to this day, like the Green Lantern, Aquaman, uh, Flash, all major characters that people would still recognize to this day. Now, in this video, I only focused on the good guys. Now, in a future video, I will do the Golden Age bad boys and bad girls, and uh, we will talk about that in the next video. So I hope you enjoyed this top 10 or top five, I should say, top five um, su superheroes of the Golden Age th that are still with us today and are major influences in uh, comics and in society in general. So I hope you enjoyed that uh, video. And if you if you can help me remember, <laughs> you can put it in the comments and I'll be like, oh, what was I thinking? Um, uh, the two people that created uh, uh, Superman. Uh, and it's going to drive me crazy. Joe Schuster and <laughs> it's like why why am I forgetting this so yeah so it's one of those things it's one of those days uh put it in the comments below see this will be part of the trivia I'll pretend oh yes I told I well I do know I do know I just blanking on it for some reason but it's part of the trivia and makes it more interesting that you guys can play along and tell me how dumb I am for forgetting uh <laughs> put it in the comments below and uh, thanks again for watching Bye for now.